Good afternoon. I am Bill Hainer, Chair of the Arlington School Committee. This open meeting of the Arlington School Committee is being conducted remotely, consistent with the Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020. Due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of COVID-19 virus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings and as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physically lo physical location. Further, all members of the public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order which you can find posted with agenda materials for this meeting allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely. So as long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will not feature public comment. For this meeting, the Arlington School Committee is convening via Zoom as posted on the town's website, identifying how the public may join. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. All of the materials for this meeting, except any executive session materials, are available on the Novus Agenda dashboard or the town website. And we recommend the members of the public follow the agenda as posted on Novus unless I, the chair, note otherwise. I will introduce each speaker on the agenda. After they conclude the remarks, the chair will ask members of the committee if they wish to provide any comment or questions or motions. Please hold uh, until your name is called. Um, I would like to just verify uh, the attendees. Uh, Mr. Schlickman. Hello. Dr. Casey, uh, Dr. Ampi, excuse me. <laughs> Present. Uh, I get so flustered easily. Jane. I'm here. Uh, Liz Exton. Here. And myself, uh, Dr. McNeil. Here. And Michael Mason. Here. At this time, I will ask Dr. Ampi if she uh, wishes to uh, make a motion. Sure, do you want to hear from Mr. Mason at all first? I will uh, just hear the motion. We'll put it on the table for discussion. Okay. Um, I would like to make a motion to um, moving to transfer $110,000 into the special education reserve fund. Is there a second to that motion? Second. Uh, at this time, uh, I would like to hear from Dr. Uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Mason. At this moment, I do not have anything to further to state besides what's in the memo. If there's any questions from the school committee, I will take that and answer it. Okay, uh, I will go back now yes. to uh, Dr. Ampi. If you have anything you'd like to say first before I open it up to the rest of the committee. Yeah, I just wanted to speak in favor of my motion. Um, I chose, so the memo states that we'll have roughly $225,000 in excess at the end of the school year, um, where that is a calculated they, they've been working hard to calculate this number, but it's not a, it's not 100% set. Um, Dr. Bodhi and Dr. I mean, and Mr. Mason suggested that all monies be returned back to the town because that had been the sense that they had got that they had given they had given the finance committee a sense that we would be returning $250,000 to the town back in March. Or, or that's what I understood. Um, my feeling is that when we did this, I thought we thought there was going to be significantly more in excess than the two hundred and and um, twenty five thousand dollars. And to me, I feel I I chose the number one hundred and ten as splitting the difference where half goes to the town, half goes into the special education reserve um, and is for the future benefit of our students. Um, so I was trying to balance my respect for Dr. Bodhi and Mr. Mason's uh, thinking as well as my desire to um, maintain the best 
funding for our students um, under emergency situations. So, thank you. Since I can't see everybody, I'm just going to call uh, a roll to see if you wish to make a comment, uh, Mr. Schlickman. Uh, I support uh, Dr. Allison Ampey's motion. Uh, I think that we've made a commitment to the town through town meeting that we're going to try to keep some money aside in the special ed reserve. So if something untoward happens in terms of our special ed expenditures, that we have money there that can be pulled back in without further appropriation. Um, this is a very difficult year right now, or we're going into a year following a pandemic and we don't know what uh, might happen within our special education line items. So I think it's prudent for us to uh, do the split and maintain $110,000 in the reserve and, return, and let the rest fall back into free cash. Thank you. Ms. Morgan? Yes, I'll be supporting Dr. Allison Ampey's motion. I think the piece that I wanna make sure that we close the loop on because I don't think we did at the end of last year was letting the finance committee know what was done with any overage. Um, so is that something, Mr. Hainer, that you would charge the budget subcommittee with? Or like, how are we gonna make sure that we, we close that? I mean, it seems very reasonable that there was, we have a, you know, it's the 29th, we have a good estimate of what's going to be left and we're splitting the difference between the special and reserve fund because we're, we're still not at that you know, that million dollars that Mr. Mason has told us he believes to be the sort of minimum, right, that we would really want to have. Um, so I just want the messaging to be clear because we spent, uh, Kersey, Len, and myself have spent countless hours, and, and, and Michael <laughs> and Kathy, obviously, uh, trying to message and communicate around whatever was left in the budget for the last few years. So I just I, I just want to be clear about what we're, whether I'm supposed to be doing anything about messaging that. That's what I need to know. Would you just to help the old man uh, send me a brief email of exactly what you want me to charge the subcommittee uh, and uh, Mr. Mason to do? Ms. Morgan. Sounds good. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Exon, do you have any comment or statement you'd like to make? Uh, no comment. I plan to support this motion. I think it's important that we um, maintain funding in the special ed budget. Um, as Mr. Schlickman said, this has been a challenging year and we're not sure what could come next year. Thank you. Uh, I intend also to support the motion. Uh, I had a discussion with Mr. Mason. Uh, early this afternoon, and he clarified all my concerns. Uh, this has been a tough year for all of us. So if is there, uh, Mr. Mason or Dr. McNeil, do you have anything you'd like to say? I do not. Nor do I. Thank you. Uh, hearing no further discussion, I'll call the, uh, the vote. The vote is to uh, return to the town $110,000 and uh no 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 the motion is to place 110,000 in the thank you spread thank reserve you. thank you mr schlickman motion is to place one hundred ten thousand dollars in the special education reserve account uh roll call uh mr schlickman yes dr ampey yes Do uh miss morgan yes miss exton yes and i vote yes uh i will entertain a motion to adjourn so moved. Is there a second? Second. Roll call. Mr. Schlickman. Yes. Dr. Rampey. Yes. Ms. Morgan. Yes. Ms. Exton. Yes. And I vote yes. Everyone enjoy the rest of the summer. I'll see you all on the 24th of July. Thank Peace you very much. <laughs>